ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. I heard a story by Benny Hinn. His son was misbehaving, Joshua. He counseled him, he advised him, none was working. And one day he now realized, oh, there is a different teaching syllabus in heaven. So when he was under the anointing, he manipulated the boy to come for service. When the anointing fell on him, Joshua, come here! The boy that he will advise, I will say, no, Dad, I don't have time for that. It's no longer lingo. You know, spirits don't speak English. They speak spirit and life. <laughs> it's not like, hey, come on, Dad, I don't have time for that. Come here! And Joshua was, <laughs> when this heart stops, God, use him for your glory. From that day, Joshua changed because he brought heaven. He brought heaven. Why do we struggle? Because we don't labor to ascend. You need down for five minutes. Oh, Father, thank you. Church delays for five extra minutes. Oh, come on, I'm tired. You will be earthly because you pamper flesh. But Moses, the Bible said, he ascended Sinai. Moses was 80 years old. Sinai is over 7,000 feet tall. How can an 80 year old man climb that mountain? Because he knew on the mountain the pillar of the presence was standing. So he can decimate the flesh. The guy could fall a thousand times, he will stand up. His knees and his legs will be blistered. But the goal was on top of the mountain because that's where Moses becomes a god. When you are earthly, you can never assume the status of the new creation. The new creation is a god man. But have you seen him? I know you have read the Logos, but have you seen the living world? I was in the Isle of Patmos. He ascended. When you climb the mountain top, then you are free to do business in deep waters. But many times, our flesh won't let us. If sleep is what stops you from climbing, don't sleep, don't lie down, pray, walk. Because by all means, you must culture your environment. Because that's your advantage. You may take it for granted, but when the day of trouble comes, he didn't say you will fail because God is weak. He said you will fail because your strength is little.